Hello viewers, English mathematician Isaac Newton and German mathematician Leibniz are usually credited with the invention of calculus. But earlier mathematicians including several Indian ancient mathematicians also explored the concepts of rates and limits. Today calculus has invaded every scientific endeavor. You can find its use in physics, chemistry, biology, economics, sociology, engineering of course. Calculus helps us to understand the structure of a rainbow, teaches us how to make more money at stock market and of course guides a spacecraft. Today we begin our explorations with application of derivatives starting with problems of tangents which puzzled even Isaac Newton and Leibniz in 1600. What does tangents and normals have to do with derivatives? Let's take a look at it through an applet. Here we have a graph of the quadratic function. Let's take a point A on this graph and construct a tangent at the point A. Let's also measure the slope of this tangent. In this position, the slope of the tangent is represented by the number B, which is taking the value 2. Let's also construct a point P, which has the coordinate same as the x coordinate of the point A and the slope B as the y coordinate. Note that as I change the position of the point A, the position of the point B also changes. You can see that it is leaving a certain trace behind. And also there is a certain relation between the x coordinates of the point P, which you can see resulting in a certain list on this table that is on the right hand side. Now I am going to again move the point and you observe and decide what the relation is going to be. So as you move the point A these values very quickly change but you can keep an eye on them and see that there is a certain relation present on the x and the y coordinates of the point P. Can you guess what that relation is? Yes, definitely y is equal to 2x as far as the coordinates of the point P are concerned. And that is exactly what is the derivative of x square, right? So what does that all mean? What we have just shown is a representation of a fact which has been said again and again that derivative measures the slope of the tangent to the curve at any point. So what is derivative of a function? It measures the steepness of the graph, so it is a slope. Also it is the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the function at the given point and it is slope of a secant line that is the line which is connecting two points on a graph in its limiting position when it becomes the tangent. So in the limiting position when the two points come closer to, closer to each other, we get the slope of the tangent which is also what we understand as the derivative. Once this is understood, what we need to figure out is how to find equation of the tangent to the curve at a given point. So what we have just now discovered is that the slope of the tangent to the curve at the point x1, y1 is the value of the derivative at that point. So it can be represented as dy by dx at x1, y1 or f dash at x1. So the equation of the tangent to the curve y equal to fx at the point x1, y1 is y minus y1 is equal to dy by dx at x1, y1 into x minus x1 coming off from the simple slope point form of the straight line. Equation of a line is y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1. Also we have equation of normal to the curve at a given point. 
we have the slope of the normal at the point x 1 comma y 1 to the curve y equal to f x given as minus 1 by d y by d x at x 1 y 1. Why? Because the normal is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact and therefore, the equation of the normal to the curve is simply y minus y 1 equal to negative 1 upon d y by d x at x 1 y 1 into x minus x 1. This is something very straightforward. At the same time, what you need to be careful with is to form equation of a line in this case tangent, you need two important quantities, the point and the slope of the tangent. Once these two are known, we are ready to face any situation. Here is a simple question to begin with. Find the equation of tangent to the curve y is equal to x cube minus x plus 1 at the point whose x coordinate is 2. So, as I said just now, to begin with you must know the point at which the tangent is to be constructed that is x 1 comma y 1. Since it is a point on the curve when x is 2, y can be calculated by putting the value of x as 2 in the equation of the function. d y by d x is 3 x square minus 1. So, the slope of tangent at 2 comma 7 is nothing but the value of d y by d x at 2 comma 7 resulting in the number 11 and therefore, the equation of the tangent to the curve using the point slope form would be y minus 7 equal to 11 times x minus 2. Simplify express as a linear equation in the standard form a x plus b y equal to c. We have another problem where the information is indirect. Find the equations of the normals to the curve y equal to x cube plus 2 x plus 6 which are parallel to the line x plus 14 y plus 4 equal to 0. So, what you are given directly or indirectly is the line is such that the normal to the curve is parallel to it. So, slope of line will be same as slope of normal, you know the slope of normal. What is the second thing that you need? The point of contact. So, our main work would be to get that point of contact through the given information. Starting off with therefore, the unknown, let x 1 comma y 1 be the point of contact at which the normals to the curve are parallel to the given line and therefore, the slope of the line which was minus 1 by 14 will become the slope of normal to the curve at 1 x 1 comma y 1. Also, we know the slope of the normal is negative reciprocal of the derivative at that point. So, let us find the derivative which is 3 x square plus 2. Therefore, the slope of normal in terms of derivative will be negative 1 by 3 x 1 square plus 2. Equating the two quantities what we had and what we have found out. I get a relation in x 1 giving me two values of x 1 and therefore, there will be two values of y 1 since x 1 comma y 1 lies on this curve. So, I get two points at which the condition is being satisfied as 2 comma 18 and negative 2 comma negative 6. So, that is why in the question the question asks for normals to the curve, there is a plural word here. So, I need two normals, I have two answers for this question. The normal at 2 comma 18 with slope negative 1 by 14 will turn out to be x plus 14 y minus 254 equal to 0 and the second normal turns out to be x plus 14 y plus 86 equal to 0 something which was indirect, but we could figure it out because I had a known and an unknown linked th together through the concept of normal slope being the negative reciprocal of the derivative of the function.
another question, an important one. One more important question for you. Pay attention to the statement. The question says find the equation of normal to the curve x square equal to 4y which passes through the point 1 comma 2. What is significant and what is risky about this question is the tangent normal are constructed at a point of the curve. So, here the normal is passing through the point. This point is not the point of contact between the normal and the curve. So, you cannot use this directly as your x 1 comma y 1 and then proceed with finding the derivative at this point. So, that is one important information for you to pay attention to. So, the point of contact is still unknown. Let us begin with that as x 1 comma y 1. So, if x 1 comma y 1 is the point of contact, derivative gives me x by 2. Therefore, the slope of normal at x 1 comma y 1, which is a negative reciprocal of derivative at x 1 y 1 will be negative 2 by x 1. This results in an understanding of slope as a quantity which is still unknown. I have to equate it with something else to get the value of x 1. So, what is the other information that we have? The normal passes through the point 1 comma 2 and it also is passing because it is at 1 x 1 comma y 1. So, I have two points through which the normal passes and therefore, the slope of normal using our two point form would be 2 minus y 1 upon 1 minus x 1. So, I can equate it with negative 2 by x 1, but I can make it first a function in one unknown by replacing y 1 with x 1 square by 4, because x 1 square was 4 times y 1 x 1 y 1 lies on the curve x square equal to 4 y, right. So, we are ready to simplify and equate with negative 2 by x 1. What is left is simplification, cross multiply, something simplifies, cancels out, gives you x 1 as 2. Once I have x 1 using again the expression that x 1 square is equal to 4 times y 1, I get y 1 as 1. Therefore, the point at which the normal is constructed has the coordinates 2 comma 1, slope of normal which was negative 2 by x 1 takes the value negative 1. So, I have the point, I have the slope and therefore, the equation of normal y minus 1 equal to negative 1 times x minus 2 simplify and express it in the standard form, I get the equation of normal as x plus y equal to 3. So, with this we end today's lesson on tangents and normal. I hope this has helped to clarify some of your doubts. Thank you for watching.